but it's a very difficult question to answer. I don't know what drives um, my passion for architecture, but I think it's it's a it's a thing that has lasted for a long time in my life. It's, it's sort of existed from when I was a kid, and uh, um, I guess each person, I guess, has their own personal journey in architecture. And mine started when I was um, in my teenage years, I think, and um, I, li I literally haven't stopped um, being interested and being passionate about architecture since that point. And um, I, I think, uh, in in some senses, there there has to be, in some deep way, a need to communicate uh, through architecture, through a form of artistic practice um, that um, people, certain people need to do. And I, and I guess I'd put myself as one of those people that feels the need to communicate uh, above and beyond talking. <laughs> uh, and, and actually use creativity, use my creativity to express myself. So I think it's, a, it's probably a need, an intrinsic need to express oneself. And I, and I think my chosen path probably came from my upbringing, which I had an awful lot of architectural awareness, I guess, as a child, um, because my um, father was very deeply into um, architecture and uh, the development of, of buildings um, in the UK. And my mother was a, um, still is a psychologist who brought to me, I guess, an awareness of people and um, uh, people's needs and um, and I guess from a young age I saw the combination of those things ahead of me and, uh, and a, a sort of maybe a goal to unify those things um, which probably pushed me more towards architecture than uh, doing art. Um, I had a, a mini existential question when I was um, before university as to whether I was going to go more towards art or architecture and even when I started architecture there was a a debate when I was doing my masters whether I should do art or architecture or both and um, I sort of ended up doing both at university um, and I think in some senses the way I push my professional career is, has been to to tread um, in a or, tr or move forward in a way that kind of brings through architecture and artistic um, more of an artistic attitude. That's a very loose term. It's not. It's not exactly theoretical, but it's. Uh, it's. I guess an understanding of of a more conceptual narrative or a more conceptual understanding of architecture that goes beyond pure design. There's lots of things when I look back at myself as a younger architect that. Um, I'm surprised that I'm, I committed to things. I'm surprised that I made those sorts of decisions. And um, for me, there was a lot of good decisions. So I was very pleased, in hindsight, that I'd made quite a lot of good decisions. Um, there's also some um, poor decisions or some things that you want to change. But mostly, uh, there's a lot of good stuff there. And I think the main thrust of my um, advice I think would be to ensure that um, as you're moving through your education, you don't see it as, a, as an end point, you see it as a, as a beginning point, and you're sort of building up an understanding, if you like, that doesn't stop. You know, you continue building your understanding all the way through your career. So there's no limit, there's no end point. There's a beginning point where you sort of start to um, develop an understanding but until you really begin to build things I believe and this might be contentious in certain circles but for me building things is a kind of key juncture uh, that at some point you get to and things change at that point so before that you develop up um, uh, a, a quite complicated theoretical position perhaps I, I certainly did. I had a certain conceptual position that I'd taken. But then when I started to build things and draw things for construction, it modified my, my connection and my understanding of those conceptual threads, those, those ideas. 
and it changed those ideas. It was kind of like a catalyst to those ideas um, and pushed them into another space. So my, my central advice would be to, um, to um, imbue in younger architects a sense of longevity and a sense of continuity and continuance and a sense of respect for the profession.